Imagine that the friendly microbes living in your gut could be engineered to guard against unfriendly, nasty, disease-causing bugs trying to infest your body. Your gut microbes engineered to act as watchdogs on the lookout for abnormalities, engineered to take the role of soldiers waiting to fight off attackers. Let's see how this could be done. Hi, I'm Johannes and here's how an engineered gut microbe can work. This is really cool. Let me show you. We can make a microbe, a bacteria, to sense a chemical produced by another bug, a nasty bacteria invading our body. This chemical isn't normally sensed by our pet microbe, but we transform it to do so. When this chemical is sensed, the engineered microbe starts producing an antidote, which destroys the unwanted visitor. This antidote isn't normally produced by our pet microbe either, but we change the microbe so it does produce it. The microbe is engineered to only produce the antidote when it senses the invading bug nearby. One scientist who has created these watchdogs slash soldier microbes is Matthew Wook Chang from the National University of Singapore. He and his team engineered an E. coli bacteria, one common resident in our stomachs, to battle another bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa? This is like a Harry Potter spell or something. Pseudomonas? Aruginosa is a nasty bug that can cause pneumonia and inflammatory bowel disease, among other diseases, in people with weakened immune systems. The engineered E. coli bacteria is built to recognize a chemical released by the nasty bacteria, and when it does, the E. coli produces two proteins for the battle. One protein breaks down the colonies of the nasty bug into smaller parts so that the actual poison, the other protein produced, can go and destroy the enemy. It's like an army of small doctors diagnosing an illness and then treating it appropriately on the spot. And they're smart too, they will not do anything unless they sense the deadly strain of bacteria nearby. This really is one of the great upsides of these systems. A patient does not need to be excessively washed in a sea of antibiotics when illness strikes. Rather, the antidote is delivered locally only to the appropriate target. Only the unwanted bug is terminated. This is great news for our gut. The good microbes in our gut always take a beating when treated with antibiotics, because the antibiotics we eat do not distinguish between the good guys and the bad guys in our gut. The antibiotics target our microbial friends as much as they target the cause of illness. It's like a high-precision sniper, taking out selected targets, delivering an antibiotic only to the bad guys. Efficient. So far, these engineered microbes have been tried in mice. Matthew Wok Chang's Pseudomonas aeruginosa infected mice fight the infection a lot better with the aid of the engineered mini doctors than without. It might work in humans as well, but there are a few things that need considering before we stick modified bacteria in our gut. Firstly, we still know very little about the workings of the microbes in our gut. The field is still in its infancy. But we do know it is an immensely complex system, and tinkering with it might lead to unwanted outcomes. Secondly, to get the mini-doctors to survive in the gut, it's probably a good idea to use bacteria that are well established to living in us. But do we want to alter these naturally talented colonizers? Maybe the modified versions will completely take over our guts. 
Uh, finally, we want to make sure that these bugs don't survive outside our bodies. Maybe they wouldn't do anything outside us, but it's probably better to be safe than sorry. So, all in all, we want to have a system in place to get rid of the engineered bacteria if anything goes wrong. Maybe make them dependent on a nutrient that is supplied during treatment, and when the treatment is over, the nutrient is not fed to the patient anymore, starving the bacteria. Or maybe engineer the bacteria to destroy themselves if they sense a specific signal in the environment. Alright, let's sum this up already. We want to be careful when designing these engineered microbes to make sure our guts stay fine and so they don't end up somewhere outside of us. But when these engineered microbes are made safe, they hold great promise in medicine and their use could open up new possibilities. It's a whole new exciting field of science. We might be able to make the wonderful collection of microbes in us even more amazing. Thank you for watching. Uh, do subscribe, it does help the channel grow. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the video and the subject, so comment down below, maybe even leave a like. See you in the future.